Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo um, here with a implant case that we're doing a, a demonstration of a fractured implant abutment screw and to just fill you in this is a Nobel BioCare uh, regular platform implant that we intentionally fractured so um, how did we do that? We basically placed the wrench to fit on top of the abutment screw and uh, went past the 35 Newton centimeter um, limit. So we ended up fracturing at probably about 45, close to 50 centimeters, uh, Newton centimeters, that is. Okay, so here's the end of the fracture. Let's look at the topography of the fracture itself. You can see it was a pretty clean break along the stem or the column of the screw itself. So we have a little bit of the column itself. Well, and you can see how it, this metal just twisted first before it actually fractured. Uh, so it did take a few rotations and finally it did break. Now we've got to demonstrate how to remove the screw fracture. So um, first thing I'd like to do is just to test to see if there's mobility. And I do that with a blunt end per, uh, probe. For uh, This is actually a a condenser for endodontics. You go in and you just touch it and you can see there's movement to the screw. Now this is there movement enough to unscrew it is the question. And some of the things that come to mind are number one, um, you know, can you stay within the top of the fracture and unscrew it? So now we're trying to do that and nothing is moving. But it is it is mobile. But why isn't it moving? You know, why can't we just unturn it and uh, some of you would like to just get right in there with the round burr and go in reverse mode and there are problems with that you can nick the sides of the implant fixture itself uh, we still have threads that are below the initial thread which is here so this is classified as a loose uh, screw but it's a class 3 which means that the first threads are below the fr the uh, the threads of the fracture are below the uh, first threads of the implant fixture. So what I would suggest at this point is to pre-soak. So we're going to take a syringe. This is a pre-comp syringe and a Luralock syringe. And we have a 30 gauge tip on the end of it. And we'll take this off, fill this up with tartar and stain remover. We'll try that. I suppose any liquid would work at this point. But let's let's start off with that. I'll go ahead and just get some of that now. We don't need much, just a couple of drops to go in there. Tartar and stain. Be careful not to drip it on anything. And what I do is secure the tip on there make sure everything is tight so, and just have a Kleenex next to you. Now in the mouth as we're simulating so I'm going to drop right in the middle of the screw itself. Okay, oh, Looks like we just dumped a whole bunch in there alright so what I'm going to do is just let that start to penetrate in there and see if we get any additional movement. Now in the mouth I would obviously suction that up so we have a little suction device here uh, all ready to go and this is a again it's a 27 I believe it's a 20, 20 gauge yellow color coated vacuum and it's with an adapter uh, just feel free, to, feel free to write in I'll tell you which adapters to get Okay, so right now the tartar and stain solution is right where it needs to be, right in the middle. And now we're going to take a endo explorer. Let's just see if we can get some rotation out of this now that you have something in there. So we don't have a, a little lip to, to grab onto, but this is just to demonstrate uh, if we can start the reverse movement. Alright, now 
uh, someone else suggested if you can get a little rubber tip on there and start to move it, you know, just with the rubber tip that would grab onto it. So there's something that's preventing it from coming up. Otherwise, it would easily come back up out of there. So we'll keep uh, keep working with it. Uh, looks like there's some metal filings that are in there. So we'll move this around and see if that metal filings will stay submerged in the solution and then we'll suction all that up. So let's do that now. Normally in the mouth I would be doing this for about 20 minutes because of bio burden, calculus, and also uh, a lot of uh, blood. So now we're suctioning out around it. You can also spray water as well. And um, let's see if we can back this out. Still loose, but still difficult to remove. All right, so we're going to move to the next step now that we know that this idea we're trying to find a lip to turn it but it's it's you don't have the luxury of that and it's not coming quietly so what we may have to do is take a sharp fork and stick it in there and then turn it and see if it would come out with this next instrument that we're going to use it's a sharp fork and we'll do it by hand all right so i'm going <coughs> to pause at this point and we'll come back to the next step with this uh, fork type of instrument. Dr. Jerry Cuomo will pick this up on the next clip.